What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. In case any of you guys are new here, my name's Rory. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you guys along for a day in the life of full-time student, startup owner, and athlete training for multiple fitness events in 2023. Just wrapped up working out with Levi. Audio, audio, Hit a little back and biceps workout. Now I gotta get ready and hit the road to catch the bus to go to school. Cutting it super close on time because the bus leaves at 8.48. Another one rolls at 8.58, but then I have to like sprint to get to my class, so see if I make it. To give a little backstory on what I'm studying for those that don't follow me on Instagram, I'm a full-time student at the University of Washington in Seattle, and I'm pursuing a business administration major with a focus of operations and supply chain management and marketing. And then next quarter, I'll be wrapping up a minor in business administration with a focus of entrepreneurship. Um, and then in addition to that, I'm pursuing pre-med track. So uh, that's what my original degree path was before uh, I started business while I was in the army. Um, so I'm knocking out all of the pre-med requisites. Once I'm done my degrees, I'll have that as a path I can choose to go to. When it comes to the entrepreneurship minor, the two quarter class that I'm in right now is called creating a company. And basically you straight up create a company. The first quarter of it is making prototypes and developing the brand. And then the final quarter of it is all about sales, growth, and deciding if you wanna keep the company going as a full-time business, uh, which you can choose to do with your group or by yourself after the quarter is over. Uh, so that's the first class I have of the day. And we're heading to the Tacoma Dome Station um, because we're gonna try and catch a bus and get up to Seattle. But we're running a little bit behind today because we had a little bit longer of a workout with Levi this morning. So hopefully things work out. So to start off my day, I wake up at 5, 5.30 each morning. And then I stick to not touching my phone for roughly an hour in the morning while I do everything to get ready for the day, pack my lunch, prep my bags for school, and get ready for the gym. And then I'll head over to the gym, which is like 20 minutes away from where I live, meet Levi either for a morning workout or I'll uh, head straight to the Tacoma Dome Station to start heading to school. second class of the day, biology, heading to meet up with the study group right now because we've got an exam tomorrow. So gonna do that for a little bit and then I'm done for the day on campus. I just have two classes and then I just usually stay and study and work on Elevate for a little bit and then catch the train home, usually around 3.15. Um, but today, since we're studying, it'll be a little bit later and we'll go from there. Just finished up to my study group. It's about five o'clock right now. I'm gonna head home um, and catch some study time at home as well because we got an exam tomorrow for biology. And then I have physics homework that I have to do as well. Those are the two classes I'm taking right now in addition to my entrepreneurship class that both work towards my pre-med requirements. So um, yeah, I'm gonna knock out that homework for physics and then knock out my biology studying and then gets to bed early because I got an uh, early day to get up to class.
down by the Seahawks Stadium right now. Usually catch the train in this area later in the day. Pretty sweet little ride back because it takes like an hour to get back to my house, but the train's huge. It's got super comfy seats and stuff like that, so I can knock out a ton of homework. I used to drive to school every single day, but public transit I actually get to do for instead of being a driver. heading home now it's around 6 20. in the last clip you guys saw me coming down the stairs to get on the train or a few clips back before i actually got on the train i thought it was the train that i was trying to get on uh to come home but that actually was on time at the time that google maps says uh because the train i was trying to get on was at like 5 20. and as i got to the uh, train station where I leave from in Seattle there was a train that was like right about to leave and for a second I thought it was mine so I'm like sprinting down the stairs trying to get on the doors are shutting right as I'm sticking my hand to get on through thankfully I didn't get my hand crushed but we uh got on the train like 15 minutes later and then headed home I'm gonna head home right now cook up some dinner uh, hang out with Megan for a little bit do some stretching and then uh, I got to do physics homework, study for my biology exam tomorrow, and then talk to manufacturers a few hours after that when everything starts opening up in their time zone uh, to get our drops ready for 2023 for Elevate. So going to be a busy rest of the night. Um, I really try to not do the whole caffeine thing after 12 p.m. or 1-ish. Um, and if I do, it's like a very mild like tea or black coffee or something, but I am pretty tired tonight. So I got the old rain from the campus today. We'll see if I actually drink it or not, or if I save it for a workout tomorrow, but yeah, take you guys along.
guys are probably wondering why it's daylight out now. It took a few days off from filming just because I was super busy with studying for that midterm that I had the next day. Um, so just wanted to do a correct representation of what the typical day looks like. So once I was done everything, last clip you guys saw, I was talking about how I was gonna do some stretching and then do some studying and work on Elevate. Uh, so that's what I did today once I got done working out because today was one of the days that I had an evening workout. Um, so yeah, just worked on some of the stuff that we have coming up for February. We got a graphic tee that's dropping mid to late February, right around the third week. And uh, we also have a pop-up that we're going to be doing on February 23rd at the University of Washington Makers Fair uh, at the Husky Union building. So just prepping for that. You guys probably have seen by now, by the time this video goes live, that I was on Instagram Live making those announcements about the graphic tee and the Makers Fair pop-up that we're going to be doing. Um, and then aside from that, we just have some stuff coming up for the season 23 drop number one. Uh, so yeah, some of the unreleased products for that drop are going to actually be sold at the Makers Fair pop-up. So if you guys are in Washington state or, uh, the Pacific Northwest and you guys have time off on that Thursday, definitely swing by and check it out. That's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it to see a little bit of a perspective from someone that's full-time business major doing pre-med and then also trying to start their own business as well and scale that. Um, this was a pretty typical average day in the life. I'll definitely be doing one of these again on one of our more Elevate intensive days. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you found value in it, be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to find the line. Oh, 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 oh,